during the presentation, you mentioned that you, as a child of, as a child, you were really into like classic adventure movies. They really inspired you to want to make movies. And so I was just wondering, were there any specific references that you had in mind while developing the Sea Beast? Uh, movies that I that that were, were part of the conversation. Um, well, I, certainly, you know, King Kong. King Kong was one that we talked about a lot as as an example of a really great monster movie that had these huge set pieces. Um, and, uh, but also there was connection, you know what I mean? There was, there, were, there was a relationship. You got to really, uh, know and empathize with, with the monster. Um, that was something that we talked about a lot. Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, my experience watching that movie, I remember so vividly, um, that left such, um, an impression on me. Um, and, 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 um, so, th so certainly those movies later on, I was, um, as, as I got a little older, I was able to appreciate Lawrence of Arabia. Um, as you know, one of the great films, and and uh, and and as far as like pure scope and ambition, you know that that to me was 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 one that we that we referenced. Um, so and you know, of course, like there's this party that just loves the old Godzilla movies. You know what I mean? Like as a kid, those things were so cool. Um, and and it, you know what? I was I was the right age for Clash of the Titans when it came out. Um, the the original Clash of the Titans. And uh, and found that really really thrilling. And there's something about that stop motion look that that still kind of like stirs something in me that I really love. Definitely. And you know, like you said, you've worked on some pretty popular animated properties in the past, particularly in the Disney realm. I think pretty popular is an understatement. But um, I was wondering, you know, when approaching a new movie where you're building an entire world from the ground up, how do you like find and pinpoint like the visual style that you want to go for? Uh, well, it's, it's definitely story dependent, right? And and I think in this case, we we knew or I knew right away that one of the main things I wanted for this film, more than anything I've ever worked on before, is this feeling of immersion, right? Um, so I so other movies that we talked about a lot um, were Lord of the Rings or shows like um, uh, Game of Thrones or Blade Runner, movies where you really felt this deep history that led up to the moment where the story began. And a sense of of a, of a complete a complete and comprehensive world, and so that was really kind of uh, one of the things that that was that that kind of guided us in our design, is really wanting it to feel like an authentic, plausible world that took itself seriously. Um, that was that was one of the things that that we knew was going to influence the, the the design and what it meant was really sweating the details you know really not having anything that would that would break the spell um and that's a story thing and a design thing right like story-wise we didn't have any modern references or anything that would sort of take you out of this um out of this world just for the sake of a joke or something you know um and uh and in design wise you know everything had to if there was any aspect of the design that broke the spell it would it's almost like the entire house of cards crumbles you know um and so so it's 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 a demanding approach uh to go for something that feels this immersive um but you know i trusted that i have i work with really really talented uh people and they were able to to pull it off yeah and i mean you know we're introduced right away to two characters jacob and Maisie who it, it does feel very lived in. I found myself, I think I saw like 40, 40 odd minutes of footage and, you know, we're just brought into this world that I thought was immediately, it kind of immediately hooked me. And, um, you know, we're left with a cliffhanger of sorts. I won't give it away, but um, is there anything you can tease about more of Maisie and Jacob's journey in the movie? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> I, of course, some of what I want to do is protect the experience of anyone that's like the thing that's so important to me is is i want to protect the experience of of anyone who watches the movie in, including you you know i, I want everyone to have the the best possible experience the first time they watch it um i would say that it's probably um becoming clear that based on what you've seen that that is really an important relationship like a, a, the central relationship um of the movie and and the two of them are going to go through a lot together um uh I, I would say that but maybe not much more i have to be careful because you know, I really, we make it so that people can enjoy it. And that well, that first time you ever see it, um, you know, that's one of those things that we talk a lot about as far as how we talk about the movie and, and what we release, you know, it's, it's a lot of what you want to do is, is protect people from knowing too much. Um, and I certainly want to be protected and, and, and go in to watch a movie um, where I can, I can really kind of experience the surprises 
uh, you know, so, so I'll just stop there. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'm going to talk. Guess... Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so in, on, a, in a, on a broader scale then, you know, um, there's so much history to draw from real life piracy, sailing, seafarer adventures to like lore and mythology about like actual creatures that have, you know, quote unquote existed. So how much do you let that like influence the direction you take with the film versus like when do you decide to be like, okay, I need to sort of stop looking at these things and push forward with my own imagination? Mm. That's a really good question because like the design is such a product of it's of so many things that get distilled into the design and then often has to go through a designer's hands. Right. And, and so you do sort of it, the, the, the goal is to make it comprehensive. Right. So you really do look at the, the some of the original designs that were on the original maps um, and, and understand where those came from. And that oftentimes it was, it was some kind of creatures, benign creature was seen out there and then the stories were relayed and it sort of grew more monstrous over time and until it was depicted a certain way, right? Um, and, uh, and then some of it is looking at other monster designs and making sure you're not doing something that's been done before, right? So that you're sort of aware of what's out there now. Um, and, then, and then it's just sort of conversation and, and experimentation, right? Because it wasn't, it's not like you just sort of take all these um, things and then just spit out a, a design, you then embark to do dozens and dozens and maybe hundreds of sort of iterations of creatures um, and, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and only then do you really sort of find the one that feels like that's it. Um, so it's, it's definitely a process and it's a result of, of all the things you're describing. Awesome. Yeah. And and speaking of the one, I was wondering, you know, from a writing perspective, you mentioned bringing all of these sort of disparate elements of, you know, your life together from when you were a kid interested in these movies to these interests in the maps and the sailing and things like that. So I was wondering, was there like a specific moment when you were kind of thinking about this movie that like a light bulb went over your off in your head and you were like, oh, I, I know what this is. The sea beast is the sea beast. Oh, boy. It's, you know, it's funny because like, it would start with something much more vague and cloudy, you know, like I'd like to make a movie that feels like this. And then you kind of sit with it. And in my case, it was many, many years of just on my spare moments kind of revisiting it. Um, and, uh, and, it, and it starts to sort of sharpen and take form over the course of years. And then even when, you know, coming here and meeting all the people that were going to be part of the process of making the movie, it still, you know, evolves and changes. And, and I really wanted to, always be testing it and saying, is this the best version? Could it be better? Um, so there's never that moment where you go, I know what this needs to be. It's like, let's find what it, what the best version of this movie is. And it's almost like, I think through, through, um, ex through lots of um, experience, I've, I, I, I don't fool myself into thinking that early on I'm making the movie. I'm just, I'm just experimenting and I'm, and I'm making the tool with which to find what the movie will be, you know? And I think that way you just make sure that you're not getting stuck or settling. You know, you're always trying to find the, be the best possible version, which then allows all these amazing people around me to to have a voice and to and to and to help me make the movie better. And 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 if things are going well, oftentimes I'm just a conduit to allow other people's amazing ideas to get into the movie. Um, so yeah, it's not. It's almost like when it's oh, when it's done, then you go aha. Now I know what the movie is. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not the beginning. It's at the end. So three years later, you're like, all right. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I almost like try to um, uh, make sure that I don't have that moment too soon where I go, now I know what it is. It's like, it's always like, now I think I know the best version right now, but it may not be the best version tomorrow, depending on whether someone has a great idea that's going to come along with you now and then. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to see the rest of the movie. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too.